Hello viewers, it's Naomi Schiff here from Sky Sports F1, the hookster doesn't get Sky because he is so poor. I am another pretend X driver like Carmen Yorda, but I still have twice as much talent as the hookster. So did I tell you I used to do karting? And what did I do before each race? Well, I had to touch everything, my gloves, my helmet, my car, but not the hookster because he is so gross. Anyway, welcome to F1 23, where once again, the hookster will be starting at the back of the grid in a rubbish car, but can he come out on top? So viewers, have I told you I do fashion as well? Oh yes, and TikTok, but what do I know about F1? About enough to put on a postage stamp, to be fair. Anyway, I am off now to go down the grid and laugh at everybody's fashion sense because everyone knows I am the queen of fashion. Oh, Naomi, you are a little treasure. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 23. As you can see in the last episode, our motor unit generator heat exploded in a spectacular style, and now we've got to put a new one on. Wow, we are certainly getting through some engine components. Anyway, it's time to move on to the next Grand Prix. It's time for Miami, yes. And as you can see, we are just completing our supercar challenge. Did we pass or did we fail? Oh, we only got a bronze and we're in a McLaren Artura. Yes, McLaren Artura. Fantastic. Anyway, practice has been completed. We've got some more lovely resource points. Only 165 for us, though, but we've now got a total of 12,439. We've got some more developer boosts to the rear downfall, some weight reduction in engine power. Of course, we're not going to spend any of these points because it's the great Alpha Tori experiment. Yes. Are they going to spend them when we leave or are they not? Anyway, at this point in the season, we are going to start to suffer in our vanilla car because other teams are going to start to put developments onto their car. Anyway, let's have a look and see what we can do with our first qualified run for the across the line. And it's fifth position, one second away from the leader. As we accelerate forward now, it's a little bit like to qualify. Oh, God, we're down to last place, everyone. Charles Leclerc is in 19th place in the Ferrari. And uh, we've given up on that lap because we haven't improved on it yet. So it's time to go out in a moment for our very last run of this qualifying session. So out we go. Qualifying has now been completed. In fact, we're still in last place at the moment. And we're only slightly up at the deltas, just over a tenth. So can we beat... Oh, we're not going to beat Charles Leclerc, are we? I can't see it. But anyway, let's see what we can do as we're about to cross the line. Are we going to finish in 20th, last place? Or are we going to finish a little bit further than that? Let's have a look across the line. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Anyone? Anyone? And it's last bloody place. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. But yes, last place for us. Sergio Perez got pole position and our teammate Yuki Sonoda got 17th place. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay then, let's do this. F1 seems to be growing by the day in the USA and today's race is a testament to that. It's time for the Miami Grand Prix. With great opportunities for wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles featuring 19 corners, 3.36 miles long and expected average speeds of 138 miles per hour, the Miami International Autodrome will be sure to create lots of chances to overtake. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. It's Sergio Perez on pole today. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Hamilton, Norris, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, 
Stroll, Albon, Ocon, Bottas, Magnussen, Sonoda, Joe, Hollywood, Hulkenberg, and Logan Sargent. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. We welcome once again to the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. And how do you mentally prepare yourself for the rush of the opening lap? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons career mode. We said go, go, go. And look at this, 18th place on the grid. And we get off to a great start. Great start off the line, as you can see. Our teammate has got a better start. Yuki Sonoda, we've got Pats, we've positive in front of us. We go just very, very tight right down. And we're going to do a dive. Oh, of course we are. It's Luxta. And we've done it. Yes. 11th. No, no, we lost it. Albon's got past us. We were only 11th place for a moment there. Another fantastic performance from the guy that never gives up and never surrenders don't you know don't you know so here we are then still chasing Alexander Albon we got Lance Stroll now behind us he's on the hard tyre so he's going to go for a very long run on this first stint before he has to change his tyres but we're still holding to 12th place of course on our soft tyre which should get us to about lap 9 before we have to come in for our pit stop this is the Miami circuit the sunshine is shining it's a glorious day for motor racing and it's a glorious day for Lance Stroll to try and get a bit of his own glory and try and get past us. But at the moment, we're holding on. So we now go into this very, very tight left-hander. Can we get a little bit of ground on Alexander Albon? No, we can't. But in this section here, it's a good opportunity for us to see if we can gain some ground on Alexander Albon. So we now sweep to the left. And as you can see, we're going to jump over the curb. Yes, we have. Oh, we've done that superbly. In fact, are we going to do a move down inside of Albon? No, actually, we didn't. We backed off out of that one. But we're still holding on at the moment to 12th place. Now, this opportunity, we may be able to get a little bit of ground on Albon. Let's have a look. He's got some cars ahead of him. He's got Pierre Gasly at the moment directly ahead of him. So that's holding him up. Let's give us just the opportunity we need. We're using lots of ERS, as you can see, to see if we can get a move down Albon. We dive down inside almost Gasly as well. But we've done it. Oh, have we? Have we? Have we made the position? Yes, we have. Up into 11th place, which we pretty much had from the start, to be fair. But we did lose out to Albon. But anyway, there you go. As we cross the line to complete lap one. As we accelerate forward now to lap three, as you can see, the DRS has now been enabled. So let's see if we can catch up to this car ahead of us. It's Pierre Gasly, 3.4 seconds ahead. Now we've got Lance Stroll still behind us on those hard tyres. As we accelerate forward now to lap four. This is going to be an opportunity that Stroll needs to try and get past now because he's going to have DRS. And is he going to make a move? I think he is. I can see the rearview mirrors. Yes, he's making a move down the inside of us. He's still on those hard tyres, but he's just got that speed from the DRS. But we're going to see if we can dive it down the inside. Are we going to send in the dummy? Yes, we do. Oh, very, very wide though. Can we hold to the exit? No, we can't. And Stroll has got past us. Lance Stroll has taken the position. Now, can we... Give it the full beans to see if we can retake the position away from him. Let's have a look. Oh, he's blocking us. He's actually blocking us, but we're blocking even more to try and get past. And we dive it down the inside. And I think we've done it. Have we? Yes, we have. We remain in 11th place as we accelerate for lap 5. Still 11th place. Gasly's gap now is 13 seconds. Yes. And we've still got Stroll. He's going for another move. This time he's going many outside of us to try and get this position away from us. Once again, it's the DRS. And he's, look at this. He's blocking right in the middle. He passed his car right in the middle of the apex there. We've gone wide once again. And once again, he gets passed. I can't believe it. Yes. Wowzers. Wowzers me trousers. Can we see if we... No, Stroll's gone. Look at this. Stroll is away and gone. We can't catch him now. That is it. We've dropped down to 12th position. And now a last-ditch attempt for Dukes there, but it didn't quite pay off. And look at this. Hang on to Albon. The Williams is trying to get past us as well. No! Our vanilla car is suffering, everyone. Our vanilla car is now starting to suffer at this point in the season. As we accelerate for that lap six. As you can see, we are still getting pressure from Alexander Albon. And once again, he goes around the outside with the DRS. But this time, I think if we can just stop him from blocking us, we're going to once again dive into the inside. Oh, very wide on the exit once again. We don't hit the wall, though, so it's all good. And we get the place back. We get the place back. So back into 12th position. Fantastic. That's exactly what we needed. But look at these cars behind us. They are absolutely crucifying us. Yes, we've just got no pace in our vanilla potato Alfa Tori car in his first season on the all seasons on F1 23. As we accelerate for that lap 7. Oh, no! Sergio Perez is out of the race. He's in the course of the Red Bull car for season 1. He is out. 
This should put us up one place, I do believe. There he is. He's in 10th place at the moment, but he's got a DNF. So, yes, we are going to go up uh, one position. So, we're going to be 11th any minute now. Just outside the, the points, everyone. Just outside the points in our Alpha Fantastic news. And there's the yellow flag. I think this is for us going past Sergio Perez. Yes, there he is off to the right-hand side. Parks up there. Wowzers. So, yes, we now go up to 11th place. We're almost in those points as we accelerate for the lap 8. Yes, and we're still under more pressure though from Alexander Albon. He's got past us once again through this very fast section of the circuit. He's got his DRS flat wide open now. We've got another car trying to get past. It's Esti Besti, Esteban Ocon as well. But let's see if Dukes goes around the outside of Alexander Albon. Yes, he does. Locks up very, very tight there. And he almost doesn't make the corner. But he has held on to it as we're now going to go through this very tight section as we accelerate forward out of lap 9. And it's time to make our pit stop. Yes, we pit on lap 9 in 11th position at the moment. Let's have a look and see if we can get a nice fast stop for the lads. Oh, look at this. A lot of cars have come in at the same time. I hope we don't get held up in this pit stop. Let's have a look and see what happens then as we now come into the pits. Yes, great, great, great. And we've got another car in front of us. That's a Williams. And it's a good stop. It's a good stop. We didn't get any hold there at all. 2.3 seconds. Well done, lads. Well done indeed. And we rejoin now with this huge trolley train of cars directly behind us. Yes, we're going to rejoin now in 15th position. But lots of cars ahead of us are still going to stop. As we accelerate forward lap 10. Yes, lap 10. As you can see, cars have come in for their pit stops. Just about to go past some of them. Grand New Joe is in. Hulkenberg is in. And our own teammate, Yuki Sonoda, has also come in. So we've gone back into 11th place, which we've had pretty much from the start of this Grand Prix. Great to see. Great to see. 11th place for us. And our teammate, yes, we know our teammate was in. He was in ages ago. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's happening here. It's Alexander Albon trying to get past us. And he does get past us once again. I can't believe it. Albon's got past and we've dropped down once again to 12th position. What on earth is going on with our little potato? As we accelerate forward out of lap 12, as you can see, we're still in 12th position. Albon still just ahead of us. Well, I say just 1.9 seconds ahead of us. And Valtteri Bottas is bringing up the rear now in the Alfa Tauri car. So is Bottas going to try and get past us? The answer to that is yes, he has. But we're still holding on, as you can see. And we've got the tight two inside line. But we're going to completely cock up this chicane. Absolutely. But we managed to hold on to it. Yeah, it's still in 12th position at the moment. SD best to be honest, as we accelerate forward at lap 14. Still in 12th place. No chance of any world championship points, I don't think, in this race. I can't see it. Anyway, Alexander Albon's now six seconds ahead. Valtteri Bottas is now just half a second behind us as we accelerate forward now to lap 17. Yes, just a few more laps to go. And once again, Bottas has got past. Our potato car is not doing very well at the moment. It's not doing very well. We're, we're fighting like crazy. We're fighting worse than Rocky. Yes, Rocky punching into that big tub of meat. You remember that big that big cow or whatever it was that he was punching into. That's what we're doing because we're just trying to get the highest points or the highest place that we can get. We're not going to get into points, but the highest placing we can get. At the moment, we're fighting like crazy. We've got Magnussen behind us now. Magnussen. And we're still holding on to this 12th position. I can't believe that we are still holding on to it. Anyway, there's the checkered flag. Carlos Sainz has won the race and we cross the line in 12th place. Oh my goodness. Still respectable for our Alfa Turi car. Don't forget, it's the worst car on the grid and it's got zero developments on it. Oscar's pastry gets driver of the day. Fantastic. Fantastic. Anyway, not to worry because uh, we'll soon be reaching the halfway point of the season when we will be going to another car and the developments will change. Yes. Anyway, there are the Ferrari mechanics congratulating themselves like they always do. And there is Carlos Sainz, the race winner. Well done, Carlos. Well done indeed. Where is he off to? Where is he off to? Yes, in 2025. Nobody knows, but by the time you watch this video, it'll probably all be revealed. Yes. And if you're watching this 100 years into the future, you won't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, there is Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz. Yes, and he shakes his wrist as well. Well done. It's in the contract. He can do it once per video. Up onto the top step he goes. Yes, lads, I've bloody well done it. And there's George of the Russell. And there is Maxi Boy Verstappen as well. As it's time now, yes, to hold up the trophy high. They are the mechanics which do not contain any famous F1 YouTubers. I've still got no confirmation in the comments whether they've been sacked or not because this should be breaking news. Yes, you can forget your UK election. This should be the most breaking news I've ever heard if they've sacked off all the F1 YouTubers. Yes, 
unbelievable scenes. In fact, you could almost say biblical. Anyway, let's go to a replay and see what happened to Checo. And there you go. It was an engine failure for Sergio Perez. The engine has hand grenaded itself. He's not going to pull off there, so he's going to stay pretty much on the racing line. Well done, Checo. He's actually looking at... Oh, God. Almost gets hit by a car there. He's looking for a marshal's post. There's got to be one there somewhere, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, there it is. There's one. Fantastic. Well done, Checo. Anyway, so there you go then. Carlos Sainz won the race. We ended up in 12th position. And uh, Charles Leclerc got the fastest lap. Let's go to the standings and see where we are. Max Verstappen's in the lead at the moment with 130 points. George Russell in second with 71. Carlos in third. Charles Leclerc in fourth. We're in 13th with two solitary world championship points, which I think is pretty decent in this car. As we now move on to the next Grand Prix, it's time for Imola. And practice has once again been completed. 330 resource points now. Total of 14,000. Development boost of the weight reduction, the rear downforce, and the weight reduction um, again. Yes. Wowzers. What does any of this mean? Does anyone know? Can anyone tell me? Please, someone tell me what any of this means. I haven't got a bloody clue. Not a clue. So out we go for qualifying at Imola. Let's see what time we're going to pull in. This is quite a fast circuit. Uh, unfortunately, our car isn't very fast. So I'm not expecting great things from this, to be honest. As we cross the line at the moment, it's in ninth place. At the, oh, my goodness. 2.3 seconds by the leads. As we accelerate forward now to a little bit later qualifying, you can see. Oh, God. We're down to last place again. Last place, everyone. Oh, but Jesus. Let's have a look. And as you can see, though, the delta time is off. So we're not going to improve on this time. Is it going to be another, another last place? Well, it is because uh, Esteban Ocon, Esti Besti, got in our way of our run there. So we've had to back off out of that. So we're not going to improve it. Yes, it is going to be a 20th place start once again for our little potato Alfa Turi car. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Maxi Boy got pole position. Lewis Hamilton in second. Lando got third. And we ended up last with our own teammate in 17th place. Oh, God. Okay, then. Let's do this. Hello there, and welcome back to Imola, home circuit of the Scuderia Ferrari. We expect to see a lot of local supporters in red today. They've all turned out for what we have every expectation will be a sensational event here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. A lap of Imola, anti-clockwise of course, unlike most Formula 1 circuits, will take our drivers round 3.1 miles of track. 19 turns, 9 right-handers and 10 left. Drivers will need to be precise at the hairpin turn 7, given the subsequent uphill section. Without a good exit from that corner, they'll lose a lot of time on that stretch. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. World Champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Russell, Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Albert, Joe, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Bottas, Sonoda, Ocon, Sargent and Hollywood. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. And here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Hollywood. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performance. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons. Cool here, mate. We're going to go, go, And it's so. Oh, here we go from last place of the grid. We've got Logan's Privates off to the left hand side of us. You can see our own teammate Yuki Sodu is up there as well. In 18th place, we've got SD Bestie in, in, of course, the Alpine as well. But let's see if we can get past all of them now. All of them. And we can see if we can make a little bit of space here. It's very, very difficult with this circuit. Very, very difficult indeed. But we have made a little bit of space. And we're up to 16th place. And we've got K May. Kevin Magnussen is currently ahead of us. And Ocon is now behind us. Wowzers, me trousers. As you can see, this is a very, very tough circuit. And it's very, very tough on our potato car, which is pretty much a back runner. In fact, with no developments on this car, we are way down. If you look at the vehicle performance comparison table, we are way down, way down. 
Uh, but anyway, we will soldier on like we always do because there's an old saying that goes around here that says that we never give up and we never, ever, ever surrender. Don't you know? Don't you bloody well know? Anyway, we've come through that chicane section, about to complete that one of the Grand Prix. Still in 16th position at the moment. Magnuson's got Pierre Gasly just ahead of him, as you can see. So, oh god, we've gone very wide there on the exit, very wide indeed. But we managed to gather it up. We've now got uh, Ocon behind us now, SD Bestie, and he's got past us, but we're going to have the inside line, tighter inside line, so we can hold on to it at the moment. So, we're about to complete lap one, only in 16th place at the moment. So, it looks like at the moment. Our performance level of our car is about where it should be. We usually manage to bring a bit more performance out of it, but it looks like it is where it should be at the moment. As you can see, we've got Battery Bottas trying to sneak around us around the outside, but we're not having any of his shit as we accelerate forward down to lap three. DRS has now been enabled. That gives the car behind a little bit of advantage, and that car is at the moment Battery Bottas in the Alpha Tori. No, Alfa Romeo, that's the one. I'm in the Alfa Tori. Anyway, we continue on. We continue on as we accelerate for out of lap five. As you can see, we're getting mullered and the cars have got past Bottas. Oh, gone. But let's see if we can dive it down the inside. Oh, God, almost onto the gravel and we've completely cocked it up. Oh, we made contact with the car behind that was Bottas, I do believe. He's still there. We get a warning because we've bought us. We've still got Ocon directly off to the left-hand side of us. Hopefully we can hold it with us more contact. Oh, my goodness. This is an absolute clusterfuck. Absolute clusterfuck with cars. We've made so much contact. It's been unbelievable. Hopefully the car's okay. There's no damage. But, oh, we make more contact with Esteban Ocon. But we hold on to this 16th position now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was very, very close indeed as we accelerate forward to lap six as you can see, oh we've gone wide we've gone wide coming around on this left hand and this gives the opportunity once again for the car to try and get past us it's Esteban Ocon SD Bestie in the Alpine of course but once again we managed to hold him off superbly but this is getting very very tight now with uh, the performance level of our cars we accelerate forward to lap eight Still in 16th position. Magnussen is the car ahead. He's now 20 seconds up the road. 20 seconds. And we've got Yuki Tsunoda directly behind Ocon. There's no cons now going for a move on us. Round the outside. As you can see, there he goes. Oh, my God. But we are going to once again jump right over the curve. That's what we're going to do. Oh, God. Onto the grass. Onto the grass. Come on. Hold it together, Hookster. No, we've blown it. Ocon's got past us. Can we do a killer dive bomb move to try and get the place back from Ocon? I don't think we can. This is going to be the last opportunity, but no, we couldn't do it as we accelerate for the left 10. So it's time for our pit window. We've been trying to catch up to the back of Ocon. We have got a little bit closer. We've got some DRS. I don't know where that came from. I think one of the cars was just coming to the pits and we managed to nab some DRS off him. But anyway, we are still chasing Ocon, who's directly ahead of us as we accelerate for the lap 10. So it's time now to come in for our pit stop from... From 17th place, we now drop down to 19th, of course, because we're coming in for our stop. Let's see what the lads can do as we're about to come in. Is it going to be a good stop? I bloody hope so. Yes, come on, lads, come on. Changing on to the yellow sidewall tyre, the harder tyre for the rest of this stint. Great stop, lads. 2.3 seconds. That was all it was. 2.3 seconds, and we're going to rejoin probably in plum last. Yes, probably in plum last. Let's have a look and see what happens. We're about to rejoin. And the uh, answer to that is... Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Y yes. Yes. We rejoin now in plum last place. Uh, and all the cars ahead of us are on the medium tyre. So they've, they've, already, they've already stopped, lads. As we accelerate for lap 11. Going past the pits now. Fortunately, some other cars have come in for a stop. Yes. Well, they must have started on the medium, so we go past now, and it's our own teammate, Yuki Tsunoda. We get past Yuki, fantastic. That's all we need now. We need to be winning in the team game, and at the moment, we are. We are ahead of Yuki Tsunoda as we accelerate forward down to lap 14. Lap 14, no change in the positions. Still in 18th place, Ocon's ahead of us in 17th, and Yuki Tsunoda is behind us in 19th place. So I think that's going to be it. For the rest of this Grand Prix. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. As we accelerate forward now to lap 16. Still no change. Still in 18th. 12 seconds behind Esteban Ocon now. And look at this. Logan's Private comes from nowhere. Logan's Private has come from nowhere. Well, he's got DRS. It's not really nowhere, is it? But let's see if we can get this place back. Because we don't want to be dropping down a filter. Oh god, contact. And we've pushed Logan's Private off. No. 
No, we've busted him down from private to, I don't know, chief dishwasher or the or the cook's mate or the or the commie chef whatever you want to call it we have busted him we have busted him as we accelerate for another lap 17 just going to lap 18 and we're still in 18th place yes and so oh no Sergio Perez once again is out of the session I can't believe it that's two retirements isn't it for the Red Bull driver oh my goodness unbelievable scenes absolutely unbelievable scenes what is going on at Red Bull Chaos, absolute chaos, that's what's going on. As we accelerate for a lap 22 and it's the end of the race, almost, and we get passed once again from Logan's Privates. We've got to see if we can dive in deep. Yes, we have a Maxi Boy Verstappen as we were trying to jump over the chicane there. Has won the race. Max has won the race. We are hopefully going to finish in, I think, 17th place because Sergio Perez has just dropped out. So that's pretty good news. We're going to finish ahead of our uh, teammate anyway. Yes, there you go there. Maxi Boy has won the race. We're going to cross the line in 17th place, just ahead of our own teammate, Yuki Tsunoda. So we have won the team game. We have won the team game. And Logan's Privates is going to finish in 19th place. And that's the end of the race. We'll oh, my God. Fermi. That was a real battle with Logan's Privates. Why do you never see that in real life? Yes, I've never seen him battle with anyone. But anyway, there you go. Driver of the day goes to Charles Leclerc. Oh, mon dieu. Mon dieu, Charles. There are the mechanics at Red Bull. And there's still no famous F1 YouTuber. I'm getting very worried now for the situation. Very, very worried indeed. Looks like they've all been sacked off. Which means an ideal opportunity for the hookster to get his face face scanned for F1 25. Yes, that's what we need, don't we? If you want that, then put it in the comments and I'll have a word with Codemasters and get that done for you. <laughs> anyway, there's the shake of the wristy from Maxi Boy Verstappen. -y. There he is, up onto the top step of the podium. -y. All that almost all rhymed with each other. Yes, I should be a rapper. Yes, yes. P. Davey, that's what they're going to call me. P. Davey. No? Okay then. Where are these famous F1? There's none. There is none there. Anyway, it's time now for the champagne to go over everyone. La da la 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 da la 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 da la 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 da la 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 da la la da da la la. No champagne for the Uxter. But stay tuned, everyone. It's coming. It's coming. I guarantee you there'll be champagne. Hopefully this season. Anyway, let's have a look and see what happened once again to Sergio Perez. He's currently in seventh place, and it's another engine failure. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Another engine failure for Sergio Perez. As he pulls off next to the Marshalls post. Great news. Okay then, so let's have a look there. Max Verstappen won the race. We ended up in uh, 17th ahead of our own teammate. And our lap times were pretty close as well, so that's pretty good news. And uh, let's have a look in the standings now. Of course, no change for us. We're still going to be in 14th place with two points. Max in the lead now of 155. Lewis Hamilton in second place with 83. Charlie Boy in third with 81. Georgia de Russell in fourth. And we are eighth in the Constructors. Well, there you go, everyone. Another episode of the All Seasons has been completed. Thanks so much for watching. And yes, of course, there will, of course, be more... Later.